for this New Year's weekend, we are escaping from Portal 8 and we're leaving the fireworks and all the commotion that comes with New Year's Eve uh, back in Oslo and heading for a cabin just outside of Löten, northwest for Oslo. We drove for one and a half hour to reach our designation, uh, a Bottle 4, Bottle 3 zone. Uh, that should be really good for astrophotography as well, so I was crossing my finger for some clear skies and I wanted to share my experience with you here. So, this is where we're supposed to be for the next two days. I think it's gonna be okay to set up the telescope and everything. Got some pretty big trees around, but we'll manage to get around those. Hey, come. Such a nice and cozy cabin. The area around here is pretty nice as well. If it was up to me, we could have cut the tree lines down a bit, but uh, this is what we have to work with. After walking a bit around, I think uh, this will be the spot for me to put up my telescope. Not very far from the from the cabin, and uh, if we look up, I think we have like a maybe 35, 45 degrees of uh, free horizon to work with. It's a huge tree here that's blocking the view, but uh, I will have to figure out which direction that is. Uh, so yeah. Uh, looks like it's going to be an object far up uh, in towards the zenith, but uh, we'll see. Since the weather wasn't that good the first night, I just decided to leave the telescope and everything in the car and waiting for a better chance the next day. We got to explore some of the area around. There were some nice roads to go on hikes with our dogs, but the weather had been uh, pretty warm, so the snow was uh, melting a bit, so it was really icy on the road, so we had to be careful with our dog, Kenai. But there were some really nice uh, things to see uh, just around the, the cabin itself. The weather and everything, or the forecast looked pretty good, uh, to begin with at least. Uh, it was supposed to be clear from around 4 o'clock till uh, 6 in the morning the next day. So I was really hoping for some uh, good uh, exposure times uh, during the night. Uh, my really goal for this was to try and image uh, Andromeda Galaxy. Believe it or not, but I have never imaged uh, this galaxy or this object, so uh, I was really uh, excited about getting this opportunity to go to a portal tree zone and uh, to shoot a wide field object. So I managed to put the mount up. The telescope and everything is good to go. I just need to get it polar aligned. Uh, looks like uh, the skies are clearing up, so it's gonna be a, hopefully a long and uh, cold night for uh, a good session of astrophotography. My imaging system for the night was the Photoline 80 millimeter refractor with a 0.8 reducer my ASI 294 mm monochrome camera with filter wheels. I got my uh, iOptron CEM40 EC mount, uh, all uh, mounted on the iOptron tripe here. Should be a good setup for a wide field image like uh, Andromeda Galaxy I was hoping for, and maybe I even had time for the hot nebula. Okay, so, uh I finally managed to polar align the mount. It was a bit of a struggle because I was really way off. Uh, I think I packed my compass with me, but uh, I couldn't find it. So I just had to 
use my phone. Uh, but I was still so far off that I had to realign my tripod. Uh, at the moment, I am currently um, uh, using the guide assistant to check that uh, PhD knows how to guide my mount from where we are. I'm going to uh, try and record the screen for a short moment. I have uh, slewed to uh, Andromeda Galaxy and uh, I am uh, really excited because uh, I, uh, I have actually seen uh, Andromeda for the first time. So let's go up and take a five second uh, image with the guiding on. Uh, the seeing is awesome. I got uh, 1.97 on my HFR from uh, autofocus uh, routine. And uh, if I go to statistics on this one, I get an HFR value on 1.6. I've never been even close to that. So looks like it's gonna be a good night. Um, so I'm gonna set up my sequencer for Andromeda. Uh, I'm super excited. This is like probably like the first time I I got my first image of the uh, Orion Nebula with my DSLR and my uh, C6, my Schmidt uh, Cassegrain telescope. But uh, but yeah, uh, it's like uh, being a child again, waiting for the Christmas presents or something. Uh, but here I am, standing outside in the cold and looking at my computer screen and the closest galaxy, galaxy uh, uh, Andromeda. Okay, so I just uh, finished my sequences. Uh, on the screen uh, you can see a 60 second exposure with my um, luminance filter. Uh, since the skies are so dark here, I actually think that 60 seconds would be fine. Uh, I don't know what you all what you guys think, maybe I should have taken longer exposures, but I feel okay that uh, this should be it. So 60 seconds on all filters, maybe I should try a red filter and just see how it is in uh, 60 seconds. Okay, so the red frame is about to pop up on the screen. Uh, again, one minute exposure. Uh, looks pretty good. And it actually looks like there are some skies on the... Yeah, there are some skies as well, but uh, it should be clear for the night. So I'm just crossing my fingers. I'm going to start the sequence and uh, maybe we'll uh, jump out uh, during the evening and see how everything is going, but... Okay, so I was in great spirit and good mood and super excited for what looked to be a clear night. But uh, right now it's uh, 15 minutes past midnight. So first of all, happy new year. Thanks a lot for watching so far. Uh, the skies have uh, calm again. So uh, I'm gonna end the imaging night. And this is uh, one thing I really want to emphasize and show you guys uh, if you're starting with this hobby. There's a lot of uh, things or factors that is uh, necessary to be on your side when you're doing astrophotography. And uh, night sky is one of those things you can't really do much about. So, yeah. I was super excited. I had a really great start of the night, but uh, eventually clouds came in and uh, I'm gonna show you the images I'm, I ended up with. It's not gonna be a lot of uh, exposures on them, but uh, it is what it is. And uh, yeah, let's just hope that uh, this new year will bring, uh, bring you a lot of great experiences with this hobby. Uh, I wish you all the best. So until then, clear skies and keep looking up in the night sky.